I really like Cary Grant and David Niven, and I'm quite a fan of stories where angels come down to earth and blend in with the rest of us. So The Bishop's Wife sounded like one that I would really enjoy. And I'm pleased to say that for the most part, I found it really delightful. There was a bit, maybe towards the final third of the film, where I felt like it slowed down a bit and the narrative wasn't really going anywhere. But that was very momentary. Um, and it kind of picked up its pace again. And I thought it was quite enjoyable and, and very thought-provoking as well. This was released in 1947, directed by Henry Coster, with a screenplay by Robert E. Sherwood and Leonardo Bercovici. And it's apparently based on the novel by Robert Nathan. I haven't read the novel. If you've read it, I'd love to know how it compares, what you think of the novel. Um, it's definitely the kind of book that I'd quite like to read. It's also worth noting that this was nominated for five Oscars. It won one. It won Best Sound, um, which is fair enough. The sound is not something I picked up on as being particularly amazing but at the same time at no point did I think the sound was bad so um, that's definitely something that works in its favour and the description from IMDB sums this up really well so I'm just going to read this one sentence and this says a debonair angel comes to earth to help an Episcopalian bishop and his wife in their quest to raise money for the new church that is what he is doing on the, on the surface of it um, so we have Cary Grant who plays Dudley who is our angel character, and he comes down to help um, Henry Brom, played by David Niven. And it seemed like he's helping him to find the money to um, to build this church, which of course is something you'd expect an angel to do. But actually, he's also spending a lot of time with Henry's wife, Julia, played by the brilliant Loretta Young. And it becomes quickly apparent that he's not just helping him with the church, but He's a very absent husband. Not that he doesn't love his wife and daughter, but he is very busy with his work. He is a bishop. He's very kind of preoccupied with other aspects of his life and is maybe unintentionally neglecting aspects of his family life. Can Dudley help with that as well while he is there? And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I think Dudley particularly has some brilliant dialogue where, you know, somebody will say something to him about something being a miracle and Dudley will have like kind of what we realise is dry wit or um, maybe a sarcastic comment or maybe sarcasm is not quite the right word but humour that the other person wouldn't find funny but because we have that dramatic irony and understand a lot of what's going on that everybody else in the film doesn't I think works very well. I, I found it to be really delightful. It's very quaint and beautiful. It's soft and delicate. It's you know it's very slow it's not a very quick film. It's not action-packed, which for me is absolutely not a problem. I know some people, when they watch a film, they watch them because they want that adrenaline rush. They want that quick pace, that fast action going from, you know, plot point to plot point, which is absolutely fine, of course, if that's what you're into. But this is a lot more mellow and a lot more gentle. And it's very soothing. It's very calming. Um, I found it to be quite funny. When I was watching it, I wasn't sure if it was meant to be a comedy. Which I realise doesn't say much about how funny it is. But I wasn't sure if it was a drama with comedic elements. Or if they were trying to make it as a comedy. IMDb tags it as a comedy, a drama and a fantasy. And I think those three tags actually sum it up really, really well. Um, with kind of three different genres happening there. I think the acting across the board was brilliant. It's very well shot. The costumes... Are lovely I only wish they were I mean I love black and white films because I feel like I'm being taken back to a more simple time but I also think Loretta uh, Loretta Young has some beautiful coats and I really want to see what they look like in colour I'm sure there are some promo shots or somewhere I can find that would show that but I really enjoyed it I thought the plot was well developed I think Dudley as a character is brilliant Cary Grant and David Niven were as fantastic as I knew they would be and I think this is my first Loretta Young film to my recollection and she was brilliant as well of course and of course we need to have a, a special mention to the young child actress in this carolyn grimes played debbie who is, is the daughter of, of the bishop i thought she was very sweet um, and very uh, quite adorable i think always having a child in this kind of film just helps to make it all the more sweet i really enjoyed this i had a lot of fun watching it I thought I would enjoy it, but I hadn't really heard of any reviews or anything, so I wasn't sure what the general reception was. 
but I'm pleased to say that I enjoyed it having done the research afterwards it seems like a lot of people like it as well if you're a fan of this kind of film or if you like any of the actors in this The Bishop's Wife is definitely one that's worth watching